Hi guys, I'm back. I decided to continue. Um, I really wish I could prove my daughter wrong and get a whole bunch of subscribers. I do have 186 or 187, but I just wish I could get a whole bunch of subscribers just to show her. I'm talking funny because I have, uh, I wear dentures and I have sores because they're, they're loose. They don't fit right. And I got sores on my gum and it's really hurting me bad. Every time I talk, the dentures rub against my gum. So I'm just telling you the truth. This is me. This is how it's going to be unless I go bottom toothless, which I might have to. But anyway, I'm bringing you back to another episode of Shannon. Trying to be nice. I wanted to say something else. She's upset again because, well, I'll let you listen to it. But she's talking about, she went from Britney Spears to when her father died. Loved are gone. And I know that my mom right now is in hospice and she's dying, so I'm going to be losing her too soon. So I'm, I don't know. I don't know. She talked shit about her mom all the time, saying how terrible of a person she is and she doesn't want anything to do with them, but then she'll say something in another video how they want nothing to do with her but it's like always about shanning um but here um now she's getting she wants sympathy <laughs> and then i have these goddamn assholes on the internet continuing to attack me still you can't you can't even give me a fucking break of you attacking me i've done nothing Ooh, you fucker. Me, me, me. And I have no regret, reg no regret over what I've said to the evil people. I she talks shit about people. She's very racist. She has used the N word many times and said she would not apologize for it. So people are hating on her. What does she expect? I have no regret over it. Because every single one of them messed with my head pretended to be my friend, pretended to be like they cared, and all they did was just stab me in the back like pieces of fucking shit the day my dad died, and they all know it. They all know it. How do you attack someone so viciously the day their father dies? First of all, you didn't want to see your family. You said that numerous times, that... They, they attacked you, that they were mean to you, that they pushed you away, and you could care less if you saw any of them. And now you're going to play the pity card. You fucking <laughs> pieces of shit. And I'm getting nothing but messages attacking me, and I get, have no one sticking up for me because all of you are fucking cowards who won't stand up for someone. When I stand up for so many people, even my own enemies I stand up for. Bullshit. I stood up for Callie after all the fucking vicious shit she's done to me. I stuck up for her. I stuck up for Charlie Gold after the fucking shit she's done. Everyone who I saw Ron, I stuck up for. Because I have integrity. No. Well, you're racist. And I was courageous and strong. No. But I don't feel very strong anymore. I feel weak. You are I weak. feel weak. And my chest is hurting. And I'm in uh -oh. a lot of fucking pain. My heart again. A lot of fucking pain. Me Emotionally. Too. Physically. She can't bring the tears up. They're evil. They're evil. 
and I don't know how anyone can stand by people who are attacking someone after their loved one died. Loved one. I don't see it. I don't see it. Especially people who said they cared about my father. If you actually cared about my father, you wouldn't attack his daughter. About Shani again. Pieces of shit coming to me, telling me I'm faking how I fucking feel. Who fucking faced that their dad dies? You. Just so you can laugh at someone in fucking mourning, you sick fucks. She had plenty of chances to go to her family, to her mom and dad, and make amends, but. Just like her parents said, she would do that, and then she would turn on them again. Someone who's going through tremendous things that you could, and, and, and tribulations you couldn't possibly fucking handle. How do you know what we could handle? Oh. It's fucking gross. I could say something, but I won't. It's fucking gross what people do just to try to get a reaction, but I don't even care, frankly, because I'm worrying right now. <sighs> And I'm sad, and I'm confused, and I'm angry! Here we go. I'm angry that my family won't be there for me! That is your fault. When I would be there for them! I don't want you guys to think I'm being mean to this woman, but she's been doing this for what? 10, 20 years or something? And if you go to her, when she has her outburst like this, or if you watch her lives, she's a very mean woman. She's spiteful. She's narcissist. She's a narcissist. She's just... I can't, I can't even ex explain it, but when you watch her, you almost want to hate her. <gasps> I'm angry! And no There's one tear. gave me fucking compassion when I needed... When I truly need it. You she can't put things past you. You have to continue to attack someone who's hurting. And say the most violent fucking things to them. Then get off the internet. Quit live streaming these things. You have to walk away from the internet sometimes, Shani. If you don't want to get attacked, stop acting like this online. Anyone who supports these monsters, you're monsters too. You're monsters too. And you better hope someone doesn't make fun of you and treat you like shit when a loved one of yours dies. You better make sure. You better make sure that they don't do that to you. What's that thing on her chest? I'm angry at my family for not being there for me. Because that is so wrong. That is so wrong to make someone mourn and then just leave them alone. <laughs> oh, there goes a snot again. I want my dad! Instead of grabbing a Kleenex, she just grabs it on her I want my hand. daddy! <laughs> I want him so bad! 
I just want to hug him right. and kiss him and tell him how much I love him. You should have done that while he was alive. I want to just at least hear a song with him. Just a song. Like we used to watch an episode of Star Trek like we used to. <laughs> <laughs> I want my dad. <laughs> this is a right to fight this alone. <laughs> it's devastated. It's going to the And then now. have people make fun of you on top of it. <laughs> I loved my dad so, so much, and to be honest, because of how evil my mom was, I was waiting for her to die to reconcile with my dad, and he had to die first! What a terrible, terrible thing to say. She had, she had locked her mother in the basement and wouldn't let her up because she didn't get away or something. And this was when she had the kids. She was staying with the parents, and she got mad at her mom and locked her in the basement. No one thought he would die, but he had to die first. When I was, I wanted to reconcile with him. I just had to wait. I waited too long. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, so she wouldn't let him be in my life. She wouldn't let my dad be in my life. Not according to the parents. Every time my dad was in my life, she'd fucking throw a fucking wrench in it and ruin it. It was Darcy's. There's an interview with the mother and father. And they tell stories about her. And they kept giving her chances against the father's, uh, he didn't want it. He, he had, he said, I ain't just done with her. And the mother kept saying that she's my daughter and I keep giving her chances and she keeps messing it up. I'll try to find it and play it for you. And the coldness, the coldness of my siblings toward me. They have no idea how much I love them too. And how disappointed I am. And they wonder why I'm angry because I'm rejected. I'm borderline. Rejection and loss is our biggest fucking triggers. And my trigger's been set. I was already feeling bad enough in my life. And now this. And I have to do it alone. It's because you pushed everybody away. <laughs> this is sad. It really is. It's like acting. He's with the Lord. He knows how much I love him. He knows how much I love him because the Lord will tell him and show him and have him feel it. I couldn't sleep last night. I felt him passing. I felt him passing. I couldn't sleep. I had this massive, massive migraine, and I was like, where is this coming from? I don't feel good. I feel like I'm dying. She always feels like she's dying. If you ever watch her, you'll know what I'm saying. I was feeling my father slip away. <laughs> I'm sad. I was feeling my father away. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this. Then get offline.
There you go. She finally did it. Um, I'm not the only one that comments on her like that. I'm, I'm going to try to figure out how to get rid of this because I don't know how. Um, hold on. I keep screwing up on this stuff. Uh, but anyway, I'm not cold hearted. I am not by far. But after watching video after video after video of her and then watching reaction video videos about her i'm not the only one that feels this way she needs sympathy her own mom said she's not happy unless she has turmoil in her life she loves negative uh attention that's what she craves so there you have it again with shanny online not in private she should do this with her husband not come online to do this next video she'll be online saying she needs money she doesn't have food she doesn't have this she doesn't have that it's not me it's all across the internet everybody knows shanny i'm not being mean so that's it i went over 15 minutes hopefully they'll keep the whole thing um if you like any of my videos please like them and subscribe i would like to prove that i can get more subscribers to my daughter because she doesn't think i should be doing this but um that's it so uh until the next video i'll see you bye